Guys, terrific. My Apple Mac Studio is finally here and I opted for the version with the M2 Max chip. As you may know, I'm a long time Mac Pro user, primarily for my video uh, editing on my YouTube channel. And in the past, I've used the Mac Pro 5.1 for the longest time and did so many upgrades and this upgrade series proved to be quite popular with you guys. So then last year in 2023, I played around a little bit, little bit with the Mac, uh, Mac Pro 6.1, the trash can, because that really has fallen, fallen in price. So I wanted to give this a test run and also showcase this to you on my channel. But eventually I got sold it again. And now I finally made the switch to the Apple Silicon. And I want to give you a first impression of my Mac Studio that arrived today. So let's get, have a look. And who would normally get one of these Mac Studios? Guys, these, these are more pricey. I'm going to make a small video series out of this. As you may know, the internet actually was invented on the so-called Next Cube, And that's actually a piece of internet history from the design perspective, because not a lot of people may actually know that, but this Mac uh, Studio really reminds me somewhat of the Next Cube. But before I digress too much, one main selling point obviously is also the compute performance. These machines are really, really powerful, perfect for editing 4K video. However, the storage upgrades, uh, with the storage upgrades, it can be a bit, bit pricey, but I found some cool solutions for storage, external storage as well. That's more affordable and also energy savings. Compared to my old Mac, I'm estimating almost 80, 90% reduction in power consumption. And in Germany, the electricity prices are through the roof. So that's also a nice feature to have. So first time you connect that, um, take a USB to lightning cable and connect the trackpad. That's also, if you plan to do a lot of video editing like I, I really recommend the trackpad. The trackpad is awesome for moving through the timeline and we can just fly through the menu here real quick selecting the language and country time zone stuff like that and enter your apple id and you should be set up yeah guys and what do you think this thing is really small really compact i'm very excited and looking forward to testing this in depth over a prolonged period of time how does it perform in video editing are there any downsides what will i learn and how does it stack up power consumption wise against the older systems, the older Mac Pros that I had in the past. And uh, yeah, guys, one thing that's immediately noticeable with that Mac Studio is it reminds me of the Next Cube. Does anybody of you still remember the Next Cube? That's actually when Steve Jobs left Apple, believe it or not, and worked on the Next Cube. And that's accidentally also where the internet was invented on, on the freaking Next Cube. Most people have forgotten the internet history and uh, they also forgot that Steve Jobs was involved with Next Computer to build the machine that builds the machines. That was pretty state of the art uh, production factory. But in any case, let's uh, leave, a, leave a subscribe um, and I'm gonna show you in the coming months what I really love about the Mac Studio what are potential downsides? Let us subscribe. I see you in the next video, guys.